le défi de l'Afrique, il est totalement différent, il est beaucoup plus profond, il est civilisationnel. Oh no, he didn't. French President Emmanuel Macron thinks Africa has a civilizational problem. Ok, but maybe, maybe, Africa's real problem is France. So let's forget about how many babies Africans make and discuss the real problem. Africa has a French problem. Once upon a time, not too long ago, there was something known as French colonialism. You see, liberty, brotherhood and equality weren't applicable to all. In the mid-1800s, France was engaging in a civilizing mission. No, seriously, that's what it was called. Sounds familiar, I know. He conquered large parts of North, West and Central Africa. But by the Second World War, its colonies were challenging its authority. And France, of course, said sorry and left its colonies. No, 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 they would never do that. No, seriously, they would never do that. Like any empire, they responded with repression. So much that Macron himself admitted that France's 132-year colonization of Algeria involved crimes and acts of barbarism. For example, during the eight-year-long Algerian War of Independence, more than one million Algerians lost their lives. By 1960, most of France's African colonies had gained independence. But France wasn't just going to pack its bags and leave. As French President François Mitterrand said, Without Africa, France will have no history in the 21st century. Why? Well, the answer is simple. France needed energy, money and resources. Or maybe they just loved civilizing people. Who knows? A key term to understand France's role in Africa in modern times is France-Afrique. This term refers to the actions and policies of a network established by General de Gaulle and his ally Jacques Focard of African politicians, leaders and businessmen to maintain control of former colonies. And no, France-Afrique is not a conspiracy theory. It's actually a real thing. It sounds very colonial, I mean civilizational. Anyway, you know what I'm saying. First off, France provides the currencies of 14 African countries, 12 of which are ex-colonies. They supply the governments through the West African franc and the Central African franc. So most of these countries' wealth is actually managed and controlled by the French Treasury. Not to keep quoting French presidents, but former French head of state Jacques Chirac did allude to this in an interview. He said, we have to be honest and acknowledge that a big part of the money in our banks comes precisely from the exploitation of the African continent. Many of France's ex-colonies such as Algeria, Mauritania, Mali, Guinea, Burkina Faso, Niger, Ghana and Ivory Coast are all resource-rich nations. Uranium, gold, iron, diamonds, oil and gas, it's everywhere. And so are French companies such as Arriva and Total that have major investments in the region. Major scandals have been associated to French business in Africa. The most known being the Elf scandal in 1994 which showed payments and bribes being made by the French oil company ELF to African leaders to secure their allegiance to France and maintain French rights to local oil. Payments were also being dished out to French political parties to guarantee their support. Yes, people, this is France-Afrique at work. Have you ever seen a map of French bases in Africa? Well, here it is. Since 2014, France has stationed 3,500 troops across Mali, Chad, Mauritania, Niger and Burkina Faso as part of an operation to counter extremist insurgencies in the region. But France has a very long history of intervening in African affairs and has done so 19 times from 1962 to 1995. Since 2010 alone, France has intervened in Libya, in Mali, in the Central African Republic, Chad and the Ivory Coast. That's nearly a war every year. So you get it, right? France intervenes in Africa more than Batman does in Gotham City. Well, to be fair, maybe they intervene a bit less. Meanwhile, Mr. Macron criticizes Africa for having shaky democracies. His country has cooperated, supported, and secured the position of many despotic leaders in the region, including the likes of Chadian President Idris Deby and Gabonese President Ali Bongo. But most of all, what is actually crazy about what Macron said is the fact that this is something normal. The comfortable yet condescending tone in which France's elite discuss Africa shows us how colonialism still exists as a mentality. A mentality that has not changed despite the fact that borders have. <laughs>